All right, welcome back. Thank you so much for staying with KTA News. Now to our top story at this hour. Two people have been arrested in connection to the SIM card fraud. A laptop and over 2,000 SIM cards were recovered from the suspects. The Department of Criminal Investigation, DCI, says in a tweet that the two suspects, rather, are a Safaricom employee and a university student. Our reporter, Brian Obuya, has been following this story and now joins me live from the city centre. Brian, it's so good to be speaking to you. What further details can you share with our audience? Well, uh, Zinzi, it began with some complaints on social media when some Kenyans came out and complained about uh, the frustrations they have been going through with this SIM card swap thing. Now, but that single complaint on social media has opened up the deeply seated frustrations many other Kenyans have been going through, whereby it's imagining uh, that uh, your line, your SIM card can actually be replaced. This is how it happens, Zinzi. Most of the time you have to change your line or you have to get a new line with your original number and details and contacts and the money you had in your, in, in your, in your uh, say, in Pesa or Airtel money or t cash for telecom so this is what, what happens many people are calling you fraudsters and asking for your details these particular details are what we call the personal uh, identifiable information which include your id number which include uh, your pin number so you don't exactly need to share all these you just need to share part of it which in turn becomes very dangerous because you realize that uh, uh, with your with your ID number, people can get so much about uh, ab about you. With your ID number, we can access everything about your, uh, your 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 phone and every other information we might want for that for that instance. So as you've mentioned, this has been going on, and it looks like the DCI has been on this case, which has been which has exposed a lot of frustrations. And as you've mentioned, a number of things have been arrested uh, uh, in possession with in possession of. Uh, the two people who have been arrested today, who is, uh, th this was Maurice Musotti, who apparently is a Safaricom uh, employee, and also Ryan Obaga Nyagaka, who is a student at the Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology, pursuing a bachelor's uh, degree in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in in matters to do with the IT and, and, uh, and related uh, issues. So in their position, actually, detectives have recovered some 2,160 unused Safaricom SIM cards. In their position also, Zinzi, uh, detectives have been able to uh, to get some 44 used SIM cards. They have also been able to recover uh, uh, also some five agent TIL numbers. What does this exactly communicate to you? It communicates to you that this is a large uh, framework. It's a, 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 a deeply seated, uh, uh, what, a, a largely a thought type of crime whereby they have also been able to get in their position some three M-Pesa record books and an internet router and two mobile phones with this culprit. So this, as many people have been thinking, has been uh, one of the ways, uh, has been one of the ways in which these uh, uh, fraudsters ha have been using, calling and suspecting Kenyans asking them questions, pretending most of the time to be uh, employees of mobile uh, service providers and asking for your details, what is your PIN number for this and this and this and this. And uh, by doing that, they've been able to defraud Kenyans of millions of shillings. You want to remember that uh, the, mobile, uh, the mobile banking ha has, has, uh, has, seen a, has been over of great improvement of late and it has uh, really contributed a lot uh, to uh, the economy of the country. We are talking about the period of just between January and March this year. We have seen a transaction of some 1.87 trillion Zinzi uh, has been transacted through mobile money transfer. We, we, we have seen some 187 billion in revenue which the government has actually co collected uh, uh, over the three months we are talking about and at that time the government was only charging some 10 percent in tax for this type of uh, uh, transactions this year uh, the cabinet minister Rotich has actually increased that tax to some 12 percent so we expect the government also to collect a lot of money through this so we are talking about an, a growing economy of mobile money transfer and uh, and as we continue talking about the same we also talk about improved ways of defrauding Kenyans when it comes to this very mobile money transfer. And we've seen um, a, a lot of improvement in different other sectors whereby 
despite uh, a, a drop in subscription between January and March 2017, uh, uh, this year alone, with, uh, there has been that uh, uh, the, uh, that uh, 1.87 trillion transaction uh, in, in mobile money transfer. So Safaricom has also come out very clearly asking Kenyans to be more vigilant and ensure that they are not disclosing their personal information uh, to, to fraudsters. These days, Zinzi, every information you give out can actually be, uh, be uh, very dangerous to you or rather uh, can cost you a lot. We've seen people calling people, texting you, telling you how you uh, you can get an m loan at 5%. Uh, the Communication Authority of Kenya has come out clear, asking Kenyans to be wary of the same, asking you to not to give your information even uh, to those uh, very, uh, even to those who claim to be Safaricom employees or Telcom employees or Airtel mobile money transfers on and, Inwas. And and asking them to be much more wary of this type of uh, fraud that has been happening. So as this continues to unveil, we are yet to know how much money has been lost in this type of dubious transactions. We are also yet to understand uh, how wide is the web because we, we, it can't be that two people have been conning people all across the country. So uh, with the arrest, the detectives of May today, we expect to see probably more arrests and more information coming out on, uh, on what exactly is going on because a number of people have been falling short of declaring complacency between employees of uh, the mobile uh, service providers and the con men, uh, so to speak. So Zinzi, these are details we continue to wait and follow so that we are able to actually be reporting on uh, the whole story as and when it continues to develop. Zinze. All right. Thank you so much, Brian, our investigative Brian, our investigative reporter Brian Abuya there with the details. 1.87 trillion on mobile money transfer is no small number. So be careful with who you share your details with.